Devo is a really handy online bookmarking service. It allows you to save bookmarks, share links with your friends and colleagues, and it also allows you to create groups, maybe, for example, groups with common interests, um, and you can build shared libraries of links online. To get started with Digo, you'll need to create an account, and once you've logged in, you'll find yourself on the My Library page. This is where you're going to be able to see and access all the links that you've collected. It's really important as you collect links that you tag anything you do save. That's how things are organized on Digo, and you can see down the side here that I've got a fully searchable um, list of tags. To add a bookmark, it's very simple. You just go up to the Add button, and you can um, add a new item, either a bookmark or an image or even just a, a straightforward note to self. Um, once you click on the bookmark, it's going to bring a pop-up box that uh, is where you're going to drop your URL or your web address in to save whatever site it is that you're interested in. Once you clicked on, click on the Next, it's going to prompt you to give it a title. You can keep it private if you want to. You can add some description. And here, of course, is where you can um, fit in tags. You can also um, look at creating, uh, adding to a list or sharing to a group, but we'll talk about that a bit later. Now, to get started, of course, you're going to have to set up an account. It's a very simple, straightforward process, username, email, password, um, or you can join up uh, via one of your social media sites such as Facebook or Twitter if you'd like to have them linked together. The first time uh, you go to the My Library page, it's not going to look like the one that I just showed you because um, you're not going to have any links there yet. So in order to add links, you're um, going to need to install the Digo Web Collector. Now that's a little, uh, a little extension that's going to sit on the side of your toolbar up the top here. Okay, it's a very simple process. It's already detected that I'm using a Chrome browser, and so it's brought up the um, Add button for me. I'll simply click on that, and it should pop up over here. There it is right there. It's now ready for me to use any time I need it. And there's some instructions as well the first time that you uh, set up your page that's going to help you if you if you need any extra help from there and explain a few of the bits and pieces that go with your toolbar. Digo um, is really simple to use but if you do run into any problems we have provided some video guides on how to install things into your preferred browser so please have a look at those and, and good luck and enjoy Digo.